Guys, it's Mel here from simplylive.com.au. Um, I am just about to leave this pet set that I've been doing, and it's been a, and a beautiful home and a beautiful place to be. And I thought you might be interested to know what does a house and pet sitter have to do on the final day that they're leaving? Well, the, that varies a little bit uh, depending on whether the client or the host is coming home in the evening or the morning, and whether I'm leaving you know, the same day or the next morning. Uh, so I'll talk to you about this one here where they're coming home this evening, it's morning time here in Portugal and they will be back this evening, I'll be leaving at around 10ish tomorrow morning. So this morning I've been up, um, I've made sure I've got up fairly early and uh, one of the first things that I have done is some exercise for the day, um, I'm sitting, still sitting here now with my stuff around me and we might talk about exercise another day. Um, and the reason I did that really quickly was because uh, the clothes that I wore during the exercise, I want to get them washed. And one of the critical things I need to do is get my washing done. So um, it's, it's actually got a few little considerations in that. So today I've chosen underwear, I know that sounds strange, but underwear that is a little bit thinner in nature and will dry more quickly for me to wear today because tonight as I go to bed, I'll probably quickly hand wash those and hang them out overnight so in the hope that they will dry for tomorrow because I'm actually on the road for the rest of the week. I'm not going to another pet sit. So I'm gonna have limited access to laundry facilities and things like that. So I wanna get as much washing done as I can. Now it's a rainy day here today as well, which is a bit of a problem because actually I don't think my clothes are gonna dry in time, which is a problem. Uh, but I do have a heater, I'll probably lay some clothes over the heater to try and um, heat them. So it's critical to me that really early on in the morning I get my washing done. And because I want to do some exercise, um, I've done that first so that I can throw those clothes into the washing as well. Then um, I have some breakfast. Uh, and then the big thing is cleaning the house. And I'm going to do another whole video on cleaning the house um, because I don't want to take this one up being too long. But one of the things that um, I don't think people realise that you need to consider is <coughs> the, 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 obviously the dryness and wetness of things. Um, I actually um, have a little, uh, what's it called, a little um, thing that you use to wash yourself with. Um, and I can scrub my back with it and it's a material thing. But of course it takes a day or so to dry. So... I actually stop using that. Um, if I had it with me, which I don't right now, I would have it. I stopped using it yesterday because it takes a day or two to dry out, and I actually put it in my room to let it fully dry before I before I travel. Um, I make sure that today, as I'm cleaning the house, I replace all of the items in the laundry. Uh, sorry, in the bathroom. I take out all of my own toiletries and put their toiletries in, as well as cleaning it. I put their toiletries back in and everything back. I put everything back into the house as I found it. So not every house is set up in a way that suits me to use the computer or to, to live as I do because I don't watch TV so I don't spend as much time in lounge rooms. Um, and I want to be able to sit up straight from my computer, so I might have rearranged things. What I'll often do when I come into a home is photograph it. I don't use that for public use, it's a private thing. I would never reveal um, all the private information of someone's home. Um, but it's, it allows me to go, oh, I moved that vase or I moved their stuff from here to there. Where did it come from? And I've got the photographs to go back and look at to put it all back again. I make sure I top up all of the pet requirements. So here they have their pet storage of their foods outside into a shed outside and they've got little containers that are here. So I go through and make sure they're all topped up nicely for the clients when they return and they don't have to worry about that. I make sure that I empty all of the rubbish bins and, and, um, and put out all of that sort of stuff and reline the bins as necessary. Um, what else do I do? Um, Oh, of course, uh, thinking about travelling. I have to make sure tomorrow I have meals to pack. So obviously a pre-think of that is what food shopping I've done in the last few days to make sure I have something for being on the road tomorrow. So I will make sure that uh, I've only actually got a really short trip tomorrow, but I always carry food in case the bus breaks down and, and I'm really bad if I'm hungry. So I will make sure that I have those snacks prepared for the road or lunch prepared for the road or whatever I need for tomorrow. Um, these guys are coming in after dinner. I won't fully clean the kitchen until the end of the day because I'm going to keep using it today. But probably at lunchtime when I do my lunch, I'll probably pre-prepare all of my fruits and veg uh, my vegetables for dinner and do as much pre-preparation -pre as I can um, because it makes for a quicker job tonight of doing the last minute clean through. I can actually do all the floors and not worry about dropping things onto the floor after I've just cleaned them. Um, so yes, I will pre-prepare a lot of my meals at lunchtime today and then clean the house and the kitchen areas and things later this afternoon. 
Um, yeah, and, and making sure I've got stuff for tomorrow. Um, and yes, getting the washing out. I mean, as I say, I can't stress that enough. For me today, the top priority is to get my washing done and my clothes out and bring this back house back to a standard or better, preferably better than when the client left it and make sure that they're feeling welcomed when they return. So that is my last day. Um, I would say that if it's a morning, you know, if I'm leaving in the morning uh, and they're not getting home until the morning, um, I would do it obviously the night before. And today, you know, it does take at least half a day, at least half a day, possibly longer for me to get everything organised and repack. Um, and sometimes I spread that over two days, you know, if they were, uh, I could have done some things last night. If I had a lot of things on today and I wanted to go out and see some things or meet some friends or something like that, I would have done some of this stuff last night. But it's a rainy day. I knew it was going to be rainy. I didn't have anything else to do except this video. Um, so I will do some of that tomorrow. So that is the life of a pet sitter. If you like what you're seeing on our channel, please make sure that you hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, the likes button for me, uh, spread the world you may not be interested in some of this stuff because you're not traveling or you're not doing pet sitting um, but your friends might so please share and uh, let's get the word out there at how we can live a simply amazing life simply uh, without great costs and there are alternative ways to live thanks guys